I know I'm a little late on this, but for those of you that don't know, Crown Branch came out with an Intel report. This one is number 18. And from what I understand, this one leans heavily into AI. The one thing that a lot of people have been asking for when it comes to Ground Branch. So let's go ahead and just hop into it here. It starts off with saying, folks, it's been a month since our last dev blog. And we once again take a quick break from working on Ground Branch version 1034 to give you a generous glimpse into development over the last few weeks. This is Intel report number 18. And today we'll be jumping straight into it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Starting off with AI development. One of the most anticipated areas of development in version 1034, enemy AI continues to be built by programmer Chris with more realistic and varied behaviors. Today we'll be taking a look at the new target acquisition system, as well as two new abilities, looking at shooting from windows and grenade throwing. Oh, oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. I wonder if they're gonna be like deadly accurate, right? They throw grenades directly at us. But anyways, nerfing the enemy aimbot. In a way, programming AI bots sometimes involves more removing than adding. As a crude example, once you program a bot to visually detect the player, the bot will do just that. It doesn't matter if it's bright or dark, if there's foliage in the way, or even if the model is looking in the right direction. You need to actively program the bot to account for things like environment brightness, different types of visual obstacles, a field of view, essentially removing its uber direction abilities so that it better emulates human vision. Getting 180 no scope by a bot 200 meters away has a very similar root cause once you tell the bot to point and shoot at the player. It'll act like a sentry laser cannon until you add further program programming to nerf it to a human level. Though the current version of Ground Branch version 1033 has a configurable period where bots will intentionally miss shots as a way to give the player a better chance to react, the deliberate miss time which varies with difficulty level. Once that period is over, they're very unlikely to miss. The new target acquisition system aims, no pun intended, to migrate this issue by defining an accuracy plane, an area where shots may randomly land, around the target player character over time. As long as bots maintain contact, the accuracy plane reduces in size until any shot fired will definitely hit the player. Then we got a video here called Work in Progress AI Target Acquisition System Demo for version 1034. They're showing off an AI that has a G3, one of my favorite weapons in the game so far. Let's take a look-see. So the AI quite literally misses every shot, it's like does an outline of you until a certain amount of time it seems. Underneath this it says, The system is being built with flexibility in mind, allowing for different sizes of the accuracy plane, as well as different amounts of time for it to collapse, depending on difficulty level and other conditions that will be expanded on, such as distance, movement, and weapon type. Okay, interesting. Moving on here, the AI guy taketh away and then the AI guy giveth a little. If you bought ground branch or are considering it, chances are you're looking for a challenge. It's just no fun when most of the challenge comes from superhuman accuracy. And since we're working on improving that aspect of the game, it's only fair that we also bump up areas where the AI's abilities fall short to provide a challenge that feels realistic. In addition to better cover usage and contextual stances, such as going prone when too far from cover, bots are also being programmed to use grenades. We asked Chris to do a little dive into detail on this, because some of you tell us you like the detail. I like details, but I don't like reading. But let's see what he has to say. The targeting system for the grenade throwing works different than for bullets. Since they travel more slowly and are thrown in a more pronounced arc, the grenade is thrown by the AI with a specific velocity to make sure that it lands at the desired location. We have to take into account the horizontal distance and the vertical distance, e.g. when the target is standing on a hill, to determine at which velocity the grenade needs to be thrown to hit the target. Kinematic equations need to be solved. To make this problem a bit easier, we say that the grenade will always be thrown at an angle of 45 degrees. The equations below are used to determine the necessary velocity v to throw a grenade at 45 degrees so as to hit the target location implementing this formula into the game now lets the ai throw a grenade at the player oh my god math no no oh god i haven't done math since i got out of college underneath this it says we know 99 percent of you skipped the math entirely so here's, what you, so here's what you're really for minus the animations they still need to be hooked up the name of this video is called ai grenade demo for version 1034 let's take a look see Oh, he just threw the grenade right there. That, oh, that was in late recording. Is he gonna throw another one? Prepping grenade. Grenade. He threw the pin too. 
So, one thing I kind of want to point out there is that there's a helicopter in the background. Insertions? Hello? What is that wall back there? I wonder what they're doing back there. What's going on over there? I want to I wanna know what's going on over there. We got another helicopter over here. There's like a bunch of like helicopters that are trying to set down in, the, in these areas. That's pretty cool. But yeah, grenade throwing. It's another thing we got to worry about, man. It's going to be crazy to go up against them now, as if it wasn't before. I like how this... <laughs> there's a thing under here that says, GB player, please improve AI. GB Tango throws frag. No, not like that. <laughs> just dies but moving on here version 1034 will also give the enemy ai the ability to contextually look and shoot out of windows you might be thinking that the enemies are already sometimes positioned by windows and will shoot out of them in version 1034 and you would be right the difference is that in this upcoming release any enemy that happens to be indoors can run to a window to check outside if they hear something and then shoot out of it if they spot a target whereas in version 1033 window bots would be specifically positioned by windows and set to a guard state while other bots would simply rush outside in search of the player the difference is that in this upcoming release any enemy that happens to be indoors can run up to a window to check outside if they hear something and then shoot out if they spot a target whereas in version 1033 would be specifically positioned by windows and set to a guard state while other bots would simply rush outside in search of players here's a quick demo the name of this video is called ai looking shooting out of windows for version 1034 let's take a look see Now you can see him like pop out of the window a little bit. You just barely see his head right there. See he pops up right there? Definitely an improvement. But moving on here, AI tracers and BFX. In addition to being visually updated, optional tracers will be added to enemy shots at lower difficulty levels to help identify the source of incoming fire. The system allows us to easily set the color and frequency of AI tracers. Here's a quick work in progress demo with yellow orange tracers every three to four shots. And the name of this video is AI tracers demo for version 1034. The one looks like small town. It's a night map. As with most AI settings, the use of tracers will be player configurable. Okay, that's definitely going to help a lot of people. I'll tell you that. We'll actually know where they're shooting from. They don't hit us the first time. It also says here that Charles is updating the bullet impact VFX for various surface types as seen in the video below. Oh, okay. The name of this video is called Updated Shot Impacts VFX. Is it going to tell us what these items are? Oh, it says here at the bottom left, brick. So this is brick. So this is all brick? Red brick, I guess? Concrete. Cool. Getting that uh, concrete look. The gray. Dirt. Definitely looks like dirt. Mud. Ew, yuck. Oh, it's got like turd color. What the hell? Tile. I hope he makes it so that it sounds like he's hitting tile. Moving on here. Call sign patches coming to headgear. Ooh, wait, these weren't in before? I swear I thought I did, these were in before, but anyways. Just as the title says, call sign patches will now be applied to the rear of all headgear that has an adequate spot for it. At this time, that includes all helmets and the NVG head mount. This is an idea we had mulling over, suggested a few times by players, and most recently by Discord member Otomaru. Not sure if I said that right. One cool feature is that the patch will automatically apply to the NVG counterweight patch 
pouch. If NVGs are attached, and then we got the picture here of the hatch right here. I guess this is like an abbreviation, if I'm not mistaken. Be cool. This addition is sure to be a great help when stacking up and regrouping, as identifying your teammates can be tricky with no HUD. I love how like every tactical game is kind of going like the dead space route where your HUD is basically what's on your body. I love that. I love it. Everything is integrated. But moving on here, while we're talking patches, we're happy to announce that the normal maps for the arm and chest patches are getting fixed. There's still decals, but the normals help add a little depth as currently seen on the headgear. Are these the patches right here? That's pretty cool. I'd love to have my American one. If you're wondering about that US UK friendship flag patch, that's one of the set of new patches that will be coming to version 1034. They'll also include Europe, Czech Republic, Greece, Estonia, Ireland, Lithuania, Macedonia. I think that's how you say that. Switzerland, Bolivia, Chile, Cuba, Peru, Venezuela, Algeria. I think that's how you say that. Egypt, Iran, Jordan, Libya, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Uganda, Thailand, Vietnam. We might also include these in-game patches as an example for modded patches. Ramjet and Skull Patrol? I'm not familiar with these ones. But anyways, moving on to level design. Map work continues behind the scenes, with John having recently started changes and additions to City that we hope to be able to showcase soon. As teased in earlier reports, the farm has received a small makeover, most notably an indoor range area with a visual tie-in to Small Town. Here are a couple of sneak peeks. Oh, okay, so they're tying the um, the shooting range to Small Town. That's cool. That makes sense. I like that idea. And here we got the uh, that one, I don't even know what to call it, training level, I guess, with the shooting range and the stuff that you can do to like breach and stuff it's a, it's a really cool area that i should probably do a video on one day but I'm too lazy but yeah pretty damn cool that they're updating this looks like they put the boat on the freaking car right here big low like these hesco walls but underneath this is another picture of a guy shooting the lmg in the shooting range he's really like burst firing that thing pretty damn cool i like how he's able to lay down and do this can't wait to get that feature the text underneath this says tracer goes pew they say here that in other map related news hideout has been pushed back to version 1035 to be better fleshed out while new map ranch also going to be in version 1035 continues to be carefully crafted by elliot ground branch has a crap ton of maps it's crazy how much they have there and also a bunch of these maps are getting like updated to look way more better than the previous versions oh man that's cool but anyways miscellaneous here are smaller features and bug fixes that will be coming to version 1034 pressing n for night vision in spectator mode will cycle through green and white phosphor modes oh cool Cool. Thanks to Special Ed Forces for the suggestion. That's pretty damn cool. I like that. I like that. Fix for a quick resurrect admin option not working. Resurrect at me and super kick for kicking admins. Options added in quick menu. Okay, cool. Last thing here. This has been the Intel report number 18. Thanks for keeping up with Ground Branch. We hope you enjoyed going through these news and previews. And we'll see you on the next one in about a month. Cheers. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see the new AI coming into Ground Branch. Hopefully it's actually fair and balanced, but I guess we'll see. What are your guys' thoughts? I definitely think that Ground Branch has come a long way from where it was. I hope that it continues to get better in the future. And uh, yeah, thank you all for coming out to watch. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters, starting off with Fear Operative, Brigador24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever, Iggy. If you're someone that would like to join this list, become a member or join the Patreon to keep the channel going. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.